you know, the problem with the internet today is there are a lot of cool apps on your phone that you can use to transact value, but because they're not internet native, they're not interoperable with each other. So exactly. for example, Jeremy, if you have Zelle on your phone and I have Venmo, yeah. and that's all we have, we, we can't send money to each other. It's a weird closed loop. Um, even if we both have Zelle, we are still depending on the clearing bank, clearing that transaction with each other. Versus in a fully open system, you know, kind of like in the way that my Gmail and your Hotmail can communicate sure. with each other. Yeah. SMTP or HTTP. Exactly, have exactly. Yes. Right. And the way that we know this is what's inevitably coming is, look at the major payment systems that have arisen just in the last 10 years. So take Stripe as an example. There's a reason why most internet startups choose to use Stripe as their payments platform as opposed to using a bank as